Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tuki and this is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney T R R G. Um so in the last episode we kind of spoke to Harry Butts over here in Malari and found out that he had sent a gas canister through the stratosphere while trying to pump up that ridiculous fat samurai in the background. Um it doesn't seem to have been significant at all. But we still have it. I guess we'll see eventually what the significance of that is. Right now, not a lot. Very suspicious. It's definitely the same gun. I don't even know. So, can I present him with something? Let's say, hey. Yeah, I don't have anything about that. Oh, right. Convenient. Nothing else, huh? You think we can go back and swap the metal detector for something else? I don't know, man. That doesn't quite look like a meter to me. Anyway, um... Let's check. Is there anything here yet? No. And we don't have anything to give her yet regarding the dirty thing. We found him. <laughs> um, I have proof. Yeah, um, I'm going to say it's this thing. Take that! Well, basically, this thing pulled the entire samurai up into the sky and then sat around on the lake for a few days. Isn't it obvious? that this would obviously look like something in the mist. Yeah, an idiot. It's funny how this game refers back to its own tropes and its own plot lines to carry over into later episodes. Oh, boo hoo! I could have just made that up, but okay. Hmm. 
Oke, apa-apa. The Legend of Larry. Hmm. It's usually the butts. Absolutely. Oh no! Don't say that. Okay, so... No, I'm going to examine this... No, I want to examine... Sorry. The empty photo. Is that it? Just shows an empty lake. Oh, that's boring. Yes, you are a nerd. Let's go to the boat shop. Yes, we've been here a hundred times. Okay, can we move? Oh. Excuse me? What a... Odd little quaint shack. This alone just shows you like the Japanese origins of this. The fact that they have the tables like this, which is usually covered, because you sit at it on the floor, um, with your legs underneath the table. And uh, I believe that in small spaces like this, they fold the table up and then use the exposed space on the ground for their bedrolls or... Uh, Man, I used to know the, the authentic Japanese word for them, but yeah. Um, so this is very reminiscent to like a Japanese college dorm room. Very small, but very, you know, space efficient, I guess. Oh, sweet Jesus. Are you... No, you're not high. Your eyes are white. I don't know. You might just be insane. Yes, it's Megan Keith. have many questions. Thank you. A wet noodle is a name for somebody that has no spine. talk to him? I guess he's... Oh, okay. This is clearly referring to Japanese, like the udon noodles or other such types.
Okay, I guess you can examine a little safe. I thought it was a radio or something. That parrot hates you. Why has this been added to the court record? over the bin, but okay. Fishing rod. Is that it? Yeah, please. Can I... Well, we have the safe code. Is that it? presenting stuff that I think you should react to. Nope. I'm not even gonna react to his own part. Nope. Interesting. Also, probably not gonna react. Okay. usually means it's time to move around a lot. Oh. Detention center? Okay, then, um, no. Huh. 
<laughs> so... That's useful. You weren't really in detention anymore. We kind of did a lot of stuff since then. So I'm just plain missing something. Nothing to say to you, nothing to present to you. Um. I honestly don't know. Probably not gonna respond to that either. Yeah. Can we examine him some more? Nothing else? Can't even examine the safe as I just said. Gonna respond to this, yeah, no. Should I say that I'm a defense lawyer? Oh, you respond to that, huh? That was quick. Oh, what do you want? Sure. A <laughs> Phoenix Noodles. Polly again? Um, didn't I just present this to you? Um, oh, I guess I can just present stuff to him now. pretty dark outside. It's pretty safe to say it was night. Thank you. 
That sounds like a cat. Oh. What if this is like the dude that... Huh. Remember um, the dude... I forget it now, but like a few episodes back, um, Edgeworth was talking about that guy was like the victim or something, and then he got off scot-free, or the killer got off scot-free. And then this guy, that's probably this guy. Mm. We can do that, but I think this is uh, apt time to stop for today's episode. A little short, but I think things are going to heat up in the next episode. So guys, I appreciate a like and a comment. I'd appreciate even more if you would tap that sub button. But thank you for hanging out with me today, and I will see all of you in the next one, if I remember to frickin' record it. <laughs> Bye-bye until then.